Hi and welcome everyone. Lisa, thanks for joining me. So today I'm doing something a little bit different here on the channel. I'm going to share a card kit with you. This kit is available at Some More Fun. I have that linked below for you. Now I have some samples I'm going to share with you a little later in the video and I'm going to show you how easy some of those are to recreate. But first let's look at what you're getting in this kit. Now this is a limited kit. Once it's gone, it's gone. Depending on the popularity of this kit, there could be another kit to follow, maybe a Halloween. So let me know what you think of this one in the comments below. You're going to get two four by six stamp sets in this set. Chicken Coop and Chicken Soup are the stamp sets that you're going to get. This set here, Chicken Coop, has nine images and six sentiments in it. This one is the Chicken Soup, and you're going to get eight images and eight sentiments. Now, the one thing I really love about these, you can mix these sets so easily. So this one here, the chicken wire background stamp, this stamp set is only available in this kit. Four and a half inches by six inches. It's a perfect size for stamping A2 backgrounds. Also, you're gonna get six pieces of red cardstock six white cardstock bases, and six red self-sealing envelopes. Now, I love these envelopes. I love the square, and I love that they're self-sealing. Shiplap paper, pattern paper. This is a one-sided paper. It's a heavy cardstock. You're going to get four pieces, and you're going to get one each of the green, this gorgeous blue, red, and a gray. So now that you've seen everything in the kit, I'm going to walk you through creating two cards using one piece of that six by six paper. And then very briefly, I'm going to touch on a couple of quick and simple cards. So I'm going to go ahead and create my first card base, which is going to be a gatefold because I believe gatefolds were a match made in heaven for pattern paper. So we're going to score this piece of paper. This is a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. And we're scoring it at two and one eighth of an inch. And I'm just rotating it and scoring it again. And I just do that because I just have a mini scoreboard that I'm using. We're going to give those a good crease and then set it aside so that we can trim our pattern paper. The first thing I'm going to do with the pattern paper is trim off five eighths of an inch. Now you want to be mindful of how your pattern is running when you go to cut your paper. And you're then going to cut three equal parts at two inches wide. And we're going to use two of these on our gatefold card. So a little bit of liquid adhesive to the back of these panels, and then we're going to center them up on the gates. And I'm just being mindful of how that pattern is running when I'm adding these. For the second card, we have an a2 card base here, and I'm just using a scrap piece of black cardstock behind that pattern paper strip. So, a little liquid adhesive to add the black cardstock, trim off the excess, mounting foam behind that pattern paper, and then I'll place it over the black cardstock. Now, anytime I'm using mounting foam, you can use double sided tape or liquid adhesive in place of it. I'm going to stamp the chicken wire background twice onto 80 pound smooth white cardstock with VersaFine Claire Morning Mist ink. Any gray ink you have will work. We're going to take one of those and trim it down so that we have two pieces that measure two inches wide by five and three eighths of an inch high. We're going to put a little bit of liquid adhesive on the back of those and place them on the inside gates of our card. I ran the second stamp panel through my die cut machine with a deckled edge die. Now you can use any die you have available or just use your paper trimmer and trim it to the size that you want it. We're adding some 
mounting foam to that right back side of the panel so we can adhere it to that right gate. Again, you can use glue or double-sided tape for that. One thing I want to point out is to be mindful when you're adding this to the card so that you don't glue the gates closed. So I use Copic markers to color the images. I'll have a color guide over on my website. Now I'm using mounting foam to the back of the images and just arranging them on that stamped die cut panel. I'm going to stamp the sentiment onto white cardstock and use my paper trimmer to cut it down to size and then just add it to the top left of that panel. And here's our finished card. I do stamp one of the little images on the inside bottom left there using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And that's going to finish this card off. Now the second card that we're working on, it's just a matter now of arranging your colored images on the front. I do want to point out that I stamped my images, then ran them through my scan and cut, and then I colored them. So once I have my images arranged on here, I'm going to take the little detail stamp that comes with uh, one of these sets and it looks like scattered chicken feed and I'm just going to add some fun little details to my uh, card with this. And I'm just using a black ink and I'm going to go all the way up the panel with that. If you'll look at those baby chicks, one's facing one direction, the other's facing the opposite direction. I used the baby chicks from both stamp sets. Okay, so for the quick and simple cards, I'm gonna touch on these really quick. I stamped the background with that chicken wire stamp set and I just used black ink. And then I had stamped and ran those images through the scan and cut and then colored them. So a little bit of adhesive to the back of this one and then place it in the center of the card. I'm gonna stamp a sentiment from the stamp set says hot chick soup <laughs> and I stamp it in red and then go ahead trim it with my paper trimmer and then add it to the left side of that pot. Then I finish this off with a few black enamel dots. And for the second quick and simple card that's laying there all I did was a little bit of ink blending in the center of one of the card bases with some blue ink took a couple of the images that I had stamped and ran through the scan and cut and then colored and added those to the center of the card, stamped the sentiment directly onto the card base and added a few more enamel dots to that. And that wraps that card up. So you can go real easy and simple with these or you can play around with them with the pattern paper like I did with that gatefold so many options with this set. I think it's a great value, especially with those three stamp sets that you're getting. So let me know what you think about the kit in the comments below. I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you'll click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. Please feel free to share these with your crafty friends. Now, for more information about the products used in the video, head over to the Some More Fun website to check it out there. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.